Hey guys, it's Nikki Jabor, and I'm here in my vegetable garden, and I wanted to share something with you. I think it's important to know that a vegetable garden doesn't always go according to plan, and these two tomato plants to the left of me have been infected with something called white mold. Now this is a common fungus that can infect many types of vegetables, including things like beans, but it's the first time I've seen it on my tomatoes. So let me tell you a little more about white mold so you can identify it if you spot it in your garden. So the signs of white mold are pretty obvious. I first spotted yellowing leaves, which made me look closer, and then I was able to see that the stems of these plants had areas that had a dry, bleached appearance. Also, I spotted the white cottony mycelium on the leaves and stems, and soon the tops of them began to wilt. The development and spread of white mold is determined by the weather. Prolonged, cool, wet weather is perfect for this disease to occur, and that's what we've had the past couple of weeks. Rain three to four times a week and very cool temperatures. It was 10 degrees Celsius here last night, which is just 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So what do I do? Well, sadly, there's no fix for this. The plants will continue to wilt. They will eventually die. The fruits will rot. And my whole goal is not to have this spread throughout my tomato patch and even further into some of my other vegetables. So I'm going to pull these two plants immediately. It's frustrating for sure, but again, I don't want this to spread. So I'm going to take care of it immediately. It's important to keep an eye on your vegetables to see how they're growing and take action when necessary. I hope things are looking a little sunnier in your tomato patch. Happy growing.